Uh oh, walking what 1.1 miles from the shelter to the Fontana Hilton down to the marina where we can get ice cream and we're on the water. Dun, dun, dun. Sassy and lady. Sassy, sassy lady. lady. You could be sassy lady. Sassy lady. <laughs> there you can see that's the marina store. They got some nice goodies in there. And then back here you have an awesome space to just chill and hang out. Uh, we got Skywalker and we got Indy and we're just hanging out. Um, you can even charge some stuff here. If you want to charge, they have like these outlets. You can kind of use the ones that are lit up are on. So you can charge on those. Um, I don't think you're really supposed to, but we went for a swim in the water. Just got to be careful of boats and jet skis and, and kayakers and stuff. But they have Wi-Fi here as well. I don't know if I've said that 18 times or not, but it's important. <laughs> it's not the fastest Wi-Fi, but it's, it's good enough to get things done. So it's been a great little uh, zero day. This has been awesome. As you come out of the woods, you get to the Fontana Hilton. Where many people spend a rest day or two preparing for the Smokies. Which is one of the hardest parts of the trail. So they say. So let's see, yesterday was pretty busy and I felt weird with the videos. Say hi to Skywalker. And, uh, and then in here, we get... All this bunk space. Boom. But yesterday it was real crowded, so I was up top. And we have a nice hang line that Indy put that up. And you got that and all the picnic tables. So this is one of the nicest views from a shelter. Hey, what up guys? Uh how you like how you like my new hair? Look, check it out. First time ever. First time ever, hair yeah, ponytail. I don't know, maybe those camera angles were good. I don't know, let's try it again. Maybe you need to be down more. Ta-da, let's see. Oh, look, you can see it. Boom, first time ever. You guys, it's, everyone can see it now. It's like, I don't know, looks okay. <laughs> first time ever. That's fun. I like doing first time evers. That's why, that's why I grew my hair. This is the first time I ever grown my hair long. And that's why, first time ever. I like to try to do first time evers all the time. I don't remember I showed you guys the bathroom. So we're gonna come in here again. I don't remember. This was at the this is the Fontana Hilton. You got the two bathrooms, sinks, and you got a real hot shower in here. It's awesome. Even though I take cold showers, it's still cool that <laughs> it's still really cool that they have super hot showers there. It's really neat. So that was neat. I'm just collecting. Oh, and you can charge in there. I, I didn't show it. It's okay. I got my charging gear, and that's why I was. I have my stuff in the bathroom. So now I'm like, like the the shelters down this road. So uh, not not far, just around the bend. Um, so anyway, I just left my stuff in the air to, to let it charge. What's crazy is so far we haven't had any more hikers show up to the Hilton. We just like a lot of people left this morning. Like everybody but three. How many people do we have? We had uh, three. And uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There was like eleven people here. Uh, three people did the tent, and, and eight people were sleeping in the in the shelter. So that was oh, that was a lot of people. That was the most I think I've had at a camp. So that's pretty. That was neat. Um, that was a bunch of chill people too. A lot, almost all the hikers are chill people. You know, when you get out here, it's it's really chill. <laughs> so it's really nice. And today was a great. Today was a rest day because my knees bugging the hell out of me um from after the noc man it's i was complaining about it. it's like those four thousand feet up and, and then like like three or four thousand feet down oh that really did my knees in and then the in between there i took it easy it did well hmm, did like an 11 or a 12 and then a six mile day to get here and today's like mostly a zero we did like a 
one um, 1.1 mile hike from the shelter to the marina and during covid the, i think that's normally where the fontana village is but i mean that's closed right now because of covid they closed down june 1st so i mentioned in another video that someone said there was like a convenience store open turns out the it's not a convenience store it's the it's the marina so that's where you, they launch boats and stuff so so that is open so you go down to the water and there's a little platform that goes out I probably have it in here in this video and um but yeah and then and then you got a little store with some like nice little snacks to if you needed something to go through to Gatlinburg or to get through the Smokies uh, they had a bunch of snacks there cliff bars and I mean, if you want honey buns and things sorry I rolled my eyes but that shit ain't healthy. It's not doing you any favors. Um, <laughs> no judgment. Just letting you know that isn't helping you get through your hike any better. Uh, definitely, yeah. Try healthy things. Um, like broccoli and carrots. You need more calories than that, I agree. But they're, they're doing your body some good. And, um, anyway, I went for a swim. That was cool. Just, um, I don't think you're supposed to. But, you know, don't ask questions you don't want the answers to. Uh, what's the other one? Ask for... Forgiveness after, ooh, I mean, you probably know what the expression is, I'm forgetting it right now. But yeah, the, it's better to ask for forgiveness than, mm, I don't remember. But yeah, so now uh, we're back to the shelter, not so far, right? And uh, so I did that, so not not a complete zero, I did like 2.2 2 miles and I did like a decent swim. So, not a complete zero, but my knee, it's still, I mean, just going up the hill there, I mean, I can feel, like, it doesn't feel perfect. So, um, we'll see what happens. I'm going to put some more Tiger Bomb on it. I'm doing some really good yoga and some stretches that are great for the for the IT band and all the muscles that keep it in place. Um, for, for keep the kneecap in place. Cause, uh, in the past, that's what was causing pain. But who knows what the pain is this time. It could always be something different. Um, yeah, it's just looking, maybe the rain's going to come in a little bit. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. I'm getting ready to go to bed. Um, they don't have any bear cables here, and they don't have any bear boxes here, which I thought was weird. So we've been putting our, our bags, oh, so this, this is funny. Um, uh, we've been putting our bags in, uh, in, uh, in the trash can. So you can see, let's see, sorry, this is not the best way to do it. Maybe this works. You see, this says trash, right? <laughs> but if you go around back there's this little door so you can open up that door and then put like the trash bags aren't very full so you just push your your food bags in there you know uh and so that acts just like a bear box because it's got those uh i mean all the doors lock so bears not going to get in what is interesting i think i showed you guys is yeah down there that well that little cubby hole has had people think it was a copperhead Probably was a poisonous snake. I poked it a lot. Well, no, I poked it twice. But, uh, and it did not move. No, you know? So when it's up, oh, and then the, like, I poked it once, and he's like, hey. And I poked it again, and then he's like, I'm going to kill you. Try that. You want to play? Try that one more time. I'm going to kill you. Um, and then I stopped poking him because I, I didn't want to be dead.